obviously we go back. I thought that was, you know, a good performance. I just find you to be very one-dimensional. The coaches, I think, are all sort of etching out their own particular style of both encouraging and criticizing for their their sake, maybe. Um, so I, I wasn't totally surprised by the range of, 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 of input. Um, you know, I definitely feel like whenever you do a big song like that, you, you kind of open yourself up to extra criticism or scrutiny. Maybe it was a little bit of that. Um, but I think uh, at the end of the day, I, I, I feel great about my performance. I feel great about my, my place on the show. And, and I feel like I'm justified in being here. And, and I, I couldn't be happier with tonight. You know, obviously, we get a lot of support. You, you know, you have me and, you know, your old Musketeer buddies behind you and Justin in particular. But, um, you know, I hope this is really a, a contest. I hope this is really a contest about the voice. I think there are just better voices on the show rather than a celebrity sway kind of thing. Having been on the Mickey Mouse Club provides me a, a tremendous advantage, and that's no secret or, you know, mystery. It, it's... Um, but at the end of the day, there's still a lot of great singers here, and, and it doesn't give me a better voice. You know, it, it, yeah, it makes it a little easier to kind of do some of this, you know, get on stage and feel at home in front of a camera, in front of an audience, and entertain a crowd. But it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't give me extra chops like some of the other people here are, are tremendous singers. Um, granted, the show, you know, the, the, the winner is probably going to be like the whole package kind of thing, and they want to see who can persevere through all of this and take on all of these, these challenges. But um, you know, I, I, I take the advantages where I where I can, and and I'm I'm humbled by the ones that I don't have. I am If we, Adam and I went back and forth a lot about the song selection. Um, he had a lot of thoughts, I had a lot of thoughts. Um, certainly wanted to do something I was comfortable with, but I wanted to remain open to something that would be a challenge. Um, we actually, In Your Eyes was a last minute thing actually. We had a couple other songs that we were seriously considering and one that I actually had prepared for the show and, and we just decided last minute like, hey, let's go this direction and I was like, all right. <laughs> so we, we went within your eyes about Peter Gabriel. Peter Gabriel is just unbelievable. So, you know, I really gave you a huge challenge and you, you really made me feel so good and I'm so proud of you and I'm so happy with the way this room felt for the three minutes that you were up there. Thank you all. Thank you. Yes, but I, I will preface it by saying it was hardly a reflection of the original artist or the caliber of song. It was just a, 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 a choice, but uh, the original was Instant Karma by, um, by John Lennon, which would have been an awesome, fun song, but uh, we just decided to go for a different, different direction. In the blind auditions, I gave everything I had, and all four coaches turned around. Since my blind audition, I've yet to sit down and play an instrument. Um, maybe do a, a, a ballad at the piano, or, or even grab an electric guitar and you know play with the band and, and really give them hell and, and, and go after like a really great up-tempo rock song. Um, but either way, uh, chances are next time I'll have an instrument on my person. <laughs> yeah, you have to vote for me because I rarely tell people what they have to do. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Um, I, I would really love to move forward in this competition because I feel I've got a great deal to offer um, and, and I think, uh, you know, you should vote for me, period. It's just, it's that plain and simple. Just go ahead, vote for me.